a steering sector and a pinion gear. Welcome to another Mad Human Pizza video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to how to install your steering sector and pinion gear if your steering doesn't work. Like you're turning and your wheels don't turn or they turn not as sharp as you're turning and you'll have like a a uh, little bump in the the feel of your turning which tells you that the gears are worn out down here way down if you, if you follow the steering column all the way down all the way down to the bottom of where your deck is right right there see so watch as a turn it turns but it is worn if you can see that far it's worn so it's slipping the gears are slipping so as you can see here is a tire and then here is looks like a tie rod of sorts and then the other side is the same thing and then you got this big old metal piece it's attached to that um that triangular piece I showed you in the beginning and then you got the little notches here and then you have your gear so the notches and the gear they line up when it turns and it's really worn all that silver collar is where it's worn and it's not catching right here so we're gonna have to remove this I mean at least remove this bolt right here and put a new one of these on and same thing here if we want put a new one of this part too all right the first thing to do to get the uh the old part off this is pretty much one of these, one of these bolts down here oh right right there right here so in order to get that bolt loose you have to hold the steering wheel at the same time you're turning that so you're able to get the bolt off okay the next order of business is I'm using a breaker bar on this bolt right it's one of those bolts but it's a, uh, oh, let me see, 15, 15 millimeter. Alright. So, just trying to get that whole thing down. And I took the, the nut or bolt or whatever off that um, part. I don't know if I had to or not, but I do the same thing to the other side, but we got the bolt off the main cog, so we're, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. This is to remove that screw and that screw, and then do the same thing on the other side. That way you can drop that whole thing down. See? When you drop that down, the whole thing will drop down. Okay, this is going to sound like a uh, propeller aircraft whenever I go to start it up because I have the lawnmower on its side and now I have easier access to the bottom after I took off the uh, the blade assembly um, deck, I took off the deck. Now I have easier access to get all these bolts off and the whole shebang. Okay, slowly but surely, this riding lawnmower is going to get fixed. So, I have 15 millimeter uh, wrench on the back there, holding the the back bolt or fastener or whatever. And then I have a uh, 13 or 14 millimeter socket. So I'm loosening and going to take that bolt off. I took this bolt off, that fastener, taking this fastener off, 
and then this whole thing will come out and then I'll take this one off. Well, I took the that fastener off but behind here which I took um, the uh, all the blade assembly I took that off as far as I could because there's still a a, um, a connection going on right there whatever it, whatever that is but I uh, had to loosen the belt take the belt off and I took a picture so I know exactly how it goes back on but that part just wraps around this which makes a cool noise whenever you uh, strike it with a piece of metal it's like a gong a gong sound gong but hopefully this mower um, I try to turn it with the uh, spark plug facing up that way that's what I looked when I looked it up on the internet that's what it said to do whenever you put a lawnmower on its side but <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be tricky trying to get it to start because you got fluids going where fluids shouldn't go but Okay, let's look at the teeth. You can see where the teeth have been grinded off due to that. And it's a little grinded off too. So, here are the tools. It's raining, so I got, I'm under an umbrella and I got plastic bags to keep things dry. But, um, the next thing is to figure out how to get that cog off and behind it I might have to use a pair of pliers and grab a hold of this it's not a bolt or a fast some type of fastener but it doesn't you can't get a socket on it or a wrench uh, so you have to grab with pliers or something because it has like two fins or like two wings on this metal part so we'll figure that out and uh, but yeah and then you have to I had to take off the uh, the tie rod, whatever that, this looks like a tie rod, I mean, it's the same thing pretty much on a vehicle for the most part. And, uh, so the new, I got my new parts elsewhere, but I'm going to take that off there, there's two bolts on each side. You, I mean, you hold, you just hold here while you have a sock on the other side. Anyway, you take that off, um, I'll show you, you have, uh, I mean, you'll have a wrench right right in there and then the socket will be on the other side and you loosen it like that get that off there and then put the new one back on and this other piece right here it wasn't actually a socket on the other side it was just this rounded area see that rounded area right here that rusted rounded area that's what I had to grab onto on the other side of this hole right here this went went in here and then I had a wrench socket holding this side and then I think it's like 13 or 14 and then this side is like 15 or 16 probably 15 millimeter but uh but yeah look it's rounded but I was, I was able to get a wrench a wrench over it I believe it's a wrench but uh so yeah and the assembly I got it has a new new big old metal piece here and a couple of th this and a new cog I gotta figure out how to get that cog off but on the home stretch all this for just this is what happens when the teeth uh, get grinded off all this work for uh, just that but anyway hopefully the mower doesn't uh, hopefully, the, hopefully the engines not uh, kaput because of being on the side like this and plus being in the rain too I tried to cover up the engine with a bag but you got a little pond going on but once stuff dries out electrical or whatever it usually works um we'll see it might start up like an old 1960 propeller aircraft plane <laughs> like that but and smoke everywhere but we'll see all right okay this is what i'm talking about this is the new piece this is on the back side of that cog for what i'm trying to grab onto and it's it's a. Uh, just has these two fins on the side here so somehow I have to and you know it's it's on there super tight I won't be able to put my hand back there and and loosen it just with my hand you know it's on there ungodly tight 
So I'll have to get a, a what I you know. I mean, I'm sure there's a special tool, but this is gonna be my tool. So that's gonna be my way of getting the old one of these off of the back of there. So right now I got all the new. Here's all the new. So new parts, really nice. I got a little towel to dry everything up since it's raining, and I don't want to. This is on the bottom of the view, bottom of the uh, tractor, so you want to keep it dry because it's not used to. Uh, stuff does spray up, but it's not really used to getting wet. But I mean, humidity. It might get water moisture from humidity, but for the most part, this stuff stays dry. For the most part, maybe not. Who knows? But anyway, let's get to it. Let's do it. I'm glad my audience is mainly male because uh, you guys have more of a sense of humor. See, watch. Ooh, ooh. I mean, females have sense of humor too um, when they want to get what they want. <laughs> anyway. Ooh. All right, that's all I got for that. Okay, so I was wrong. Just gotta get a, you just gotta hit it with a hammer. I hit it with a mallet, hit it with a mallet a bunch of times, I put a screwdriver behind there and hit the screwdriver and it, it'll just pop right out. And uh, right now it'll pretty much just pop it out. Same. Watch it. Look at it. I'm getting loose. See that's on the end now. Uh, I'm going to use two hands because I can't, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. There we go, yeah, I can do it. So it's, look at that, there we go. Alright, I got it off the spindle and uh, just put the new one on and as you can see this is, uh, you see where it's worn, you can see the silver part if the, the camera will ever, will ever focus and it's focusing, there we go. Just that much on that cog, that's how much wear and tear and that's how you end up with a, uh, your steering not steering properly and um, uh, let me put those together let me put those together let's look at them so you have that and that so you have see how rounded up now look how rounded those are see that's why see they, they, they won't connect these will connect down here. Sure, look at that. That'll connect. That'll translate one spinning motion to the other. But up here, eh, not so much. So that's a little little life lesson there. Alright. Uh, Alright, it's all on there. We'll see. I guess we'll just have to see if I'll drive in circles without turn, turn the steering wheel. <laughs> I just have